How's it going YouTube? It's RJ here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the entire Dragon Ball Super set. Now, Dragon Ball Super should be returning this summer uh, with their, like, second version, you know, right after the Broly movie, even though there's a bit of conflict with the English voice actors right now. However, I am excited for it nonetheless. And today I thought it'd be cool just because since this show is going to be renewed, more than likely it's not 100% you know like confirmed or whatnot. But being that it's more than likely coming out again, I can't wait for it. And then of course with more seasons, there's going to be more figurines to collect. And I have the entire Dragon Ball Super set to this date. So uh, April 5th I believe it is today. I have the entire set. So let's actually begin with the first pop in the Dragon Ball Super set, which is Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Now, um, there are going to be some people saying why wasn't this figure included in this video? You don't have the entire Dragon Ball Super set. Technically, yes, I do, just because I'm going off of if it has Dragon Ball Super in the uh, for what it is, because you know how. You have Super Saiyan God, Goku, which is technically it's technically Dragon Ball Resurrection F. So Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. So there are a few figurines in here I do not have that you can technically consider Dragon Ball Super, being that it was inside the incorporated into the arcs and the show rather than just the movies. But I'm going based off of what it says on the box. So this is a Hot Topic exclusive. You know, this is uh, after Zamasu has taken over the body of Goku in his timeline. It's complicated. I don't really want to spoil too much, but I just want to go over what the figurines look like. Now, this one's really cool. Uh, it's a different Goku head sculpt. Of course, it looks similar to the Super Saiyan version, but it's pink and then it does have the earring for uh, Fusion. So it's really freaking cool. I like this one. Uh, yes, it's a Hot Topic exclusive. I got this for 20 some dollars because I had to buy it second hand. But I'm really happy that this is in my collection. It's a really beautiful figurine. If you don't have it yet, I'd suggest getting it as soon as you guys can because all the Dragon Ball Pops are going up in price. Everything's been going up in price for certain seasons, for sh certain shows such as like Game of Thrones. Next, we have the Future Trunks. Now, this is just a common pop. Uh, you can still find him retail for, at certain places. Uh, really nice looking pop, number 313 in the animation line. And then here you go, you have the side version. And then this right here showcases the entire set of Dragon Ball Super from like the one wave that they did. Now, outside of this wave, there were exclusives that, um, that aren't featured on the back of this box. But it is a pretty, like I said, it is a pretty cool set altogether. Future Trunks, uh, change up his hair color, whatever, it's fine. I like it. It's a cool pop. I'm happy to have it. Then we have Goku Black. Now, this is the common version. Uh, he does have a formation of a energy blast, which is really cool because... Honestly, I do think that some of the Dragon Ball Funko Pops could incorporate this. Now, there are two Pops in this line that do that, not including the uh, energy sword type thing that Goku Black does when he Super Saiyan Rose, but you know what I'm talking about. But this is actually really nice. It is a common figure as well, and I've seen people actually replace the head sculpt of this for like the common Goku just because of how good this head sculpt is. All you have to do is just take out the earring and it's really good. This figurine's really, really nice and it's number 314 in the pop animation line. Next we have number 315 which is Hit. Hit is a assassin from another, uh, uh, another multiverse. Uh, Dragon Ball it's crazy yes i know what dragon ball the show about aliens and stuff it gets crazier yes it does i love it though uh it is a really dope character now this is a toys r us exclusive actually so if you guys haven't found him you won't be able to unless you get him off of pop culture 
which you will ship without a sticker, which is kind of, you know, that's a known fact. But this is really cool. Uh, his value is probably going to increase throughout time just because you can't get him off of Toys R Us, if, especially if you want to get the one with the Toys R Us exclusive sticker. It's a really nice figure. Uh, back when I wasn't collecting this, I've seen, I saw him in stores and then I ended up having, like I said, I had to get a lot of these for, uh, not retail, but I'm so happy with it. Dragon Ball Super, if you guys are looking forward to collecting any of the Dragon Ball lines, I would say thanks to help with Droops, uh, I will actually link him down in the description below because he is the one who told me, yeah, go for Dragon Ball Super first. I would suggest doing that. Now, there is one figurine in here which will get really expensive, but we'll get to him relatively soon. But if you're collecting Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball line is the cheapest, but there's only a few figures. There's like maybe four all together. Got a few Goku versions and then a two pack and a Bulma. Yeah, three, three Gokus, Bulma, and a two pack but some of them are actually like uh, the what the goku with the orange gi is a hundred plus dollars yeah so this is Zamasu right here now he is the bad guy from one of first arcs after uh resurrection f and the battle of gods arc so he is the person who he's trying to kill the supreme kai he wants to destroy all mortals kind of it's you know, it's a god complex, <laughs> but he's actually pretty damn cool. I like him. Uh, here you can see him in a fighting stance. He's really nice. He's number 316 in the line, and he's super cool. And they do have a Walmart exclusive version of this character, which glows in the dark. Now, if you guys don't know anything about glows, uh, green glows look really friggin' nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's... They're really good, uh, especially with this one. It, you can glow this without needing a black light. I'm gonna put it like that. And you can see it in a photo without using a black light. So if you don't know how difficult it is for certain pops to glow and then take a photo of it so that way it's visible, you can tell how good this pop actually glows. And I absolutely love it. It's the same body mold, same sculpt as the other Zamasu, but He's really cool, I like it. Glow in the dark. Then we have the angel himself, uh, Whis. Whis is a really cool character. Uh, just because I like, I like the character because he's funny. Uh, it's all about food for him, but it's also all about food for Beerus as well. And that's why they come down to earth to go visit Bulma just to see what delicacy they can cook or uh, ramen from Vegeta. <laughs> but Whis is a really cool character. You can see he has his scepter. And he is a common as well from the set. Not hard to get in comparison to this horrendous release, Metallic Whis. This is a Funimation exclusive from San Diego Comic-Con. And holy crap, this pop was impossible to get and I when I say it eh, I mean it um I can I'm actually gonna link down below Cletus Selden's video where he gets it the lines were crazy it was a mad rush the websites were terrible I ended up getting this one for less than what it is going for secondhand just because mine is a bit damaged uh it's crushed down here which I don't care for just because this pop is beautiful. Uh, what is it? The new Gajil pop that was released from, what is that anime, uh, Fairy Tale? It has a similar-esque uh, metallic vibe to it. And I absolutely love it. Like everything on this is beautiful. It's such a good pop. If you have the money to get this metallic version, uh, and you have like the extra 140 bucks to spend Go for it. It's a beautiful pop and the value of this is only going to go up. It probably is stagnating right now It's just going to stay flatline, but 
it should slightly increase throughout time just because of how botched this release was. But this is the most expensive pop from the Dragon Ball Super line. So if you are worried, like I said, the most expensive is $140. And for certain sets, that's uh, some of the cheaper pops. Uh, I mean, no, a lot of them could be going for around that price, to say the least. Next, I have Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Now, this one, it's the Super Saiyan version of the common, number 318 in the line. The hair sculpt is different just because that's what happens when you go Super Saiyan. It goes, you know, it raises up, as you could see from uh, Broly in the background and uh, Gotenks as well. It's what, they, it's what happens when you go Super Saiyan. And I like this figure. A little backstory, the very first Dragon Ball pop I ever owned was Super Saiyan Trunks, the New York Comic Con exclusive. And I wasn't even getting that one for myself. A friend of mine wanted it, but he ended up getting one. So I was like, okay, I'll hold on to this because I like Dragon Ball. And this was before I was trying, I, oh man, if I started collecting Dragon Ball back then, I'd be in a much better place per se. I wouldn't have to worry about spending a lot of money on a few of these exclusives, but whatever. This one's really nice though. Uh, the hair sculpt is amazing, but Dragon Ball Pops are always hard to come by anyway, just because of how quick certain ones sell out. Like when the new wave comes out for the common Dragon Ball CD set, I'm going to be getting all of them, the Goten, Super Saiyan Goten. That's going to be a little bit of a pain to get. Uh, the one that's going to be the most of the pain is the Galactic Toys exclusive Super Saiyan Broly 6 inch figure, but I will be able to get that eventually and that's the only one I'm missing because I have Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks pre-ordered and I'm not sure if that's going to be a Dragon Ball Super Pop or a Dragon Ball Z Pop only because this is one of the last Dragon Ball Super Pops I got only because I forgot that this was part of the Super line because I was just thinking it was part of the regular Dragon Ball Z line. As you can see, I have Super Saiyan Gotenks right here. And then this is just regular Gotenks. Gotenks is the com combination of Goten and Trunks after they do the fusion dance. Uh, they actually have the Funimation slash Box Lunch exclusive of that fusion dance, which is really cool. I missed out on it. Like I said, there are certain pops I would have in my set if I started collecting Dragon Ball sooner. Um, yeah, but this is actually a really cool pop. I like it. it. Like I said, it was one of the last ones. I think this was the second to last or yeah, this is the second to last pop I got from the Dragon Ball Super line. But it did go and complete my set. So I'm really happy about it. But this could probably be just going off of the fact that uh, Gotenks was a little bit more prominent during the Super line just because he was throughout the whole series, Goten and Trunks versus, you know, being uh, in the Majin Buu arc, which, you know, I, I still think that Gotenks should have been a Dragon Ball Z pop, but once again, I can't really, you know, you know, I'm not in charge of that. Next, we have the god of all gods, Zeno, the most adorable creature you have ever friggin' seen. He's a kid trapped inside a god's body, and he's just like, hey, I, let me just blow up this damn universe because I'm Zeno. Holy crap, this is a cool pop. Now, uh, you can get him for relatively cheap. I think he's still on Galactic Toys' website. Get him now before he goes up and Galactic Toys determines what their market value is for that because they like to do that. I, that's why I'm so worried about this Super Saiyan Broly. They're going to release it at $100 instantly or something stupid like that. And I'm just going to be like, why in the world does Funko allow this company to release pops? Now, when they do ship out, they do ship out in protectors, which this one hasn't actually left its own protector. Because, well, what's the point? It's a really cool pop. It's really adorable. I friggin' love it. Next. We have one of the uh, coolest pops from the Dragon Ball line. Now mine is damaged because of the hair. I think, yeah, the hair pointed it through just a bit. But I don't care. This is Goku Ultra Instinct. Now Ultra Instinct Goku is 
Ah, oh, man, this whole friggin' scene was amazing. And then I think right now, yeah, because I'm editing in post, not like editing, but adding music in the background in post, uh, you, the music that you're hearing is like a trap remix version of the Goku Ultra Instinct theme. Uh, it's really, really freaking cool. Just Ultra Instinct itself is amazing. Now, this is a standalone pop in the line just like a few, the next few are going to be just because they didn't release it as like a wave they just released it as like a part of the set but it has like a silver metallic eye and hair and it's just really freaking cool i'm not i can't i can't lie it's an amazing pop it's just beautifully executed and uh you know the outfit's a bit different than the normal one i mean Still, it's the orange gi pants, but you know, it's still friggin' amazing. I love it. I friggin' love this pop. Next, uh, one of the other pops that I got. This is the third to last pop I ended up getting. Not because of the value, but because I didn't think this was going to be in the Dragon Ball Super line. Because the other two Beeruses, Metallic Beerus and Common Beerus, they are part of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. Ah, crazy, right? Crazy, right? Yeah, and then they're like, oh yeah, by the way, this is one beer. He's now uh, number 514 in the line. Doesn't look any different other than the fact that he's flocked. So yeah, I had to get this. This is the only beers pop I do own. Uh, it's going to be a while before I own the other two. But this is a Funimation exclusive. He actually restocked relatively recently. But uh, check out with Funimation is not fun ever, 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 like, ever. Ugh, why do they give them exclusives? Why, Funko, why? But it is a cool pop. I like the flocking on it. It does look cool. He's a cat. He's an Egyptian cat. It's really freaking cool, this damn pop. So next we have a pop, which I don't think is going to go up in value too much more. Uh, and that is Metallic Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. This is, you know, when they use the Pitar earrings to fuse both Goku and Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. That's what this form is. And it's, a, I, I don't know, I'm a sucker for Metallic Pops. You give me a Metallic paint job on a common pop, I'm like, give it here. Hand that shit here. So this was a Hot Topic exclusive. And it's a really nice pop. It looks great. The metallic paint job on it is great other than i think i have a little bit like of you know an issue with the ear this is a nice pop and it's number 515 in the animation line and i can't say i that's what i'm gonna say about all these pops are all really nice pops but it's really cool like what can i say guys it's just a metallic super saiyan god pop it's so fucking cool i can't i can't help myself I do have the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan Blue. I keep, you can mix it up the whole damn time and it's not going to matter. I do have the uh, Goku version of Super Saiyan Blue, which is nice. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Vegeta is going to be difficult to track down. But I remember how much of a pain this was for a lot of people to get from Hot Topic. Meanwhile, I was just like, okay, I'll order one online and I did and that was it. Next, in the uh, Dragon Ball Super line, we have the recently released, the last one to be released, and the last one to actually be part of my collection, Jiren. Now, this is actually a convention exclusive. Uh, I got this one from Cletus. This came from, I'm assuming, Big Apple, a company that... He, don't, don't ask Cletus about that company, because he... He will have some strong choice words for them. If you want to hear about those strong choice words, uh, he did do a video about that because they don't ship with a sticker and it's just they take forever to ship. And uh, I've bought from them before and it is true. You can literally get the entire set much faster. It's only certain commons that are cheaper anyway. But Jiren is now part of my collection. He is the strongest in the whole multiverse. And it took Golden Frieza, Ultra, <laughs> it took Goku. Was he an Ultra? Yeah, he was Ultra Instinct too during that, I think. 
and freaking Android 17 just to destroy this guy. Knock him out of the competition. And it still all destroyed Goku and Frieza. But this is a cool pop. The sticker on this is actually like really cool. I will have to one day track down the stickered version. But I love this pop. It's so friggin' beautiful. It's clean. The application of the paint is clean on this guy. I'm gonna bring him up close. He's really cool here in the gray. And then the last pop from Dragon Ball Super in the number line is Max Power Master Roshi. This is a specialty series, and this is also one of the ones that does have like an energy blast. The Kamehameha. It looks cool. I love it. It could have been better if they had, you know, like see through glasses, you know, but that's whatever. Or at least have like the shine going through the glasses. This right here, actually, it's kind of just a solid color plastic, which is all right, I guess. But, you know, it could have been cooler if they did something like that. But I like this. Uh, this is during the Tournament of Power as well. And, you know, all these pops are really friggin' nice. I love them all. And that's it for the Dragon Ball Super line. Uh, the most expensive ones you'd have to hunt down would honestly be uh, Whis, Beerus, and then Jiren's going down in price. I would say track down maybe like Hit and Zamasu before you get Jiren because Jiren's going to keep releasing throughout this year. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, hopefully you guys see that, you know, if you guys are looking to collect Dragon Ball Super, it's not that big of a line. There's only 16 pops altogether. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys next week with another collection review. So that's going to be even longer. <laughs> see you guys then. Bye-bye.